Hello everybody, welcome back to another SnowRunner video. Um, if any of you have watched the last one, you'll know that we finished by exploring a watchtower and seeing a bit of the map around us, and there's some things that we need to go grab. Um, first thing is, we are at the fuel station just over here in our little 4x4. What we're going to do is follow this road round over here, we haven't been this way yet. Um, I had to go back to a few stations to fill up because we were running out a few after the last episode. We're going to go right around here, around the trailer park, come along this road here, and there's a new truck, which I don't know what it is, it's called the Royal BM17, and also an upgrade a little bit nearby. So we're going to grab both of those, and then if we have time or fuel or whatever, we can go back along this road and go get this watchtower to see everything around this area. So that's the plan. It could all go wrong but we're gonna give it a go so we're gonna follow this road along here Let's get the engine started let's go and the first check what the time is we want to if we start in the morning and yeah if you're looking on the map there's like a little bit of a river sort of area which is a bit worrying because we haven't been there so I don't know how muddy or how prone we are to getting stuck in that area, but we're going to give it a go, nonetheless. Uh, in fact, <laughs> this is it, water over road ahead, so it is a road usually, it's not like I'm travelling through a river, but there is water on it, so I'm just going to put four-wheel drive on straight away. I don't know how sticky this is going to be, I think we'll be alright actually. It's a little bit rocky underneath the water, which we shouldn't have too much trouble getting through that nah, we're all good. So it's just water. Oh, is it getting deeper? No. I think we're good. This is the road we're supposed to be going across. Yeah, then I believe it should. Yeah, I can see the end of the road just there where we need to go to. So fingers crossed we're gonna get to the other side of that. <laughs> oh, we're going a little bit faster now. Which is great. So yeah, I'm wondering what kind of truck the Royal, um, or is it BMC or something, it's what it is. I haven't got the biggest fleet at the moment, obviously I've only started the game fresh, I haven't used any cheats or anything to get any money. Um, I'm just trying to play it out normal. But as we're coming out of here, we're making good progress. Come on, pull yourself out. We're right at the end, this is the easy bit now, you're back on land. Oh, I have got... Oh, was I going across the <laughs> wheel drive? Oh god. Oh well, saving fuel doing it, so it's absolutely fine. On a map, I've got that somewhere over there, so I don't know why. I wish for the path at the moment. Um, obviously, yeah, fuel is very valuable um, when there's not many fuel stations around. Oil field. Let's see, so there's an oil field that way. Yeah, I think in one of the next videos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try out some of the mods. Um, you know, see what's what's been made. Obviously, it's a newly released games, so there probably won't be too many, but I'm going to have a look if there are any good ones and almost do a review of all of them just to see if any of them are worth trying out for those who are watching. Um, then again, if they cost money, am I going to be able to? Get it, really. Stay. We're back on time right now. That wasn't too bad going across that road. I'm not even using, I'm not even using my four-wheel drive at the moment. So I believe, can we go through it? Yeah, I think we can just go straight through the warehouse, and then um, along this road here. So we'll do that. That was very slippery. So I'm just gonna go through here. Not a bit icy on that road. Yep. Yeah. Warehouse. I think we've been here yet. I believe we're turning left. To the fort. There's a fort. Interesting. Apparently there's a fort. What does that say? Port. It says port. <laughs> Can't read. So yeah, we've already been to the port area. 
Don't use our four wheel drive, and we're making decent progress. Detour. I believe there's a rock thing up there, so I need to go this way, don't I? Yeah, there's a stone fall there, which is missions we are going to do at some point. Just to make it a little bit easier to get around, I'd imagine. And a little bit of money in the old bank. I don't want to go straight through that, it's very soft. Yeah. yeah. I'm even on the edges, so I'm just going to take the outskirts of this track. Not too far in, where there's too deep snow, but just hang on on the edge. Again, we're still not using a wheel drive, so we're good at the moment. Ooh, see, I, I got a tiny bit into that track, and I just feels like the tyres are sinking instantly. But this snow is very thick, very thick indeed. So I might need a bit of assistance. Oh, it's the end of that tree. I want me pulled towards the snow, but look at that track all the way along. It's just Come on. We're breaking all the land to get in there. Yeah, we're gonna need that, aren't we? Took us a bit of momentum, I think. There we go. Again, I know I can use all drive, we'll definitely do that. We'll get stuck and we need to, oh well. But here I'm not even gonna bother trying it without. Because I'm gonna have to go around that tree, which is gonna get a bit sticky. Look at it, the entire path is just <laughs> a puddle. We'll give it a go, maybe it's a little bit harder than it looks, but now nah, look at the tyres, they're sinking. They are sinking. Let's get your shape back out of there. I don't know how we're going to go around it here. But I definitely feel way more comfortable going on this line. I think it might get a bit icy here. Yeah, it's all good. I'm not going, I was not going around that path, that was, that was bad. I don't think it's too bad, isn't it, that wet now. Yeah, no. Okay, I think we're good again. Uh oh. That's looking like very sticky, mud. Right? Oh. Right. Can we go around that? I think if we go to the left side of it. It should be good, but look at that, <laughs> you're not getting through it, in fact, I'm not even getting through it going around the edge. Turn it down, there we go, stairs forward. Alright, let's get a bit of a pull. Over there. Oh, that, one. that one, I'm trying to get the one in front. There we go. Get us around this corner. Oh my god. This entire area is just very puddly. Okay, here we go. Ah, no, we don't need to cross that. Oh, we do need to cross that. Oh, our truck should be right. Nearby, shouldn't it? Okay, right. We're just gonna have to do this. Full pelt. Maybe get into the water. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this, you know. This is a deep crossing. I'm still going down. That is deep water. That is deep. Holy hell! I'm not in the mood for recovering my vehicle, but I think we're leveling it out slowly. Please don't just stop in the middle of the water. Okay, we're basically in it now. There's no turning back. Slow revs. Get across. Look at that. I'm literally swimming in it. I could use a bit of help now. Thank you, Mr. Tree. Oh no! 
Oh, I hope we just got that at the right time because that was starting to damage us. Come on, let's just get out of here. That was not very nice. Oh, look at our wheels. They were white and the car is just as dirty. Oh, no. You're joking. Where's the truck? Are we going past it? It should be somewhere over there. Just reverse. Oh, it's right there. I can see it. It's available for purchase. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. She starts. She's very damaged, though. Oh! I don't think that's meant to happen. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, it's got all wheel drive. That's nice. I wonder how much it's worth then. If I can, I is there a way I can try and buy it? Wow, that's actually a hundred twenty-three thousand seven hundred worth of machinery. That is. Oh, and it's an off-road vehicle. Oh, brilliant. I wouldn't mind them. Sorry, I'm pleased with that. That's a good find. I'll take that any day of the week. Very nice. Okay, right, so we're going to switch back to our car now because there's an upgrade over there that I need. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get this pretty easily. Just going to try and go straight across because I think our car can take that. Where is it? It's just over there. I don't want to go in the river. Again, we can just go around it. That's the tactic, I think. Oh! Don't fall in. Don't fall in. I'm sliding. That's the one I want. Okay, pull this out. We don't want to go in there. Ooh. I mean, this that car had a bit of trouble, and I don't want to be getting into that situation. So let's just... Oh, don't tip up. Grab this. Okay, I'm in the river, I think, but it's fine as long as we get this upgrade. The upgrade. Engageable all wheel drive for the Caterpillar CT680. I don't have that. That's fine. Right, so now we've done that, we could probably do a head in towards this watchtower. Does that mean we've got to turn, go back the way we came? It does, doesn't it? Gotta go through that puddle again. Ugh. Okay, let's give it a go. Let's try and turn around. Tip our car over. Ooh. <gasps> easy, easy. I can get across that. Oh, you're not going to do that to me, surely. That'd be terrible. Okay, no, we're not making that. I'm going around the other side of that tree. I believe it's this way. Yeah. Let's have a look. Okay, it's not too bad here, is it? It's just the river bit. It gets a bit sticky. Nope, it is bad here as well. Right, we're making it through. On our way. Oh, we're going near the trees, actually, don't we? Let's just get straight out of here. <laughs> oh, God, I didn't like that. I might be tempted to go over there actually. Because our car was not having any of that. Let's just creep over the edge onto this bit of rock. Can 
gonna do that? Is it gonna get annoyed? If I connect to that one, get across it somehow from this angle, it might not damage my engine. And that was a good idea. Seems like we're getting out the deepest part of it doing this. back on track. Alright, so we're going back in the right direction again. Until we did in the way here, just travel around the edge. I just ate um, Papa John's brownie, like I ordered it the other day. Um, they're doing an offer which is like 15 pounds or 30 pounds so i just get a 30 pounds deal for 15 it's great and the brown it's the first time i've tried it and it's so good and like it's massive as well like you get a massive you get a massive portion and so it's lasting me a few days after ordering it and it's so good i don't, I don't need to heat it up cold it's beautiful but it comes nice and warm probably john's is my favorite takeaway even better than Domino's. Need me a pop of drums, I have to pay a bit more for it, I'll go for it. So, yeah. Yeah, we definitely shouldn't be in that gear, should we? Nothing to grapple on to at the moment, so we're gonna have to keep going on our own four legs. I think we'll manage though. I think we can get a lot without the winch. Yeah. Speeding through there. We well, don't crash, don't crash. Don't want to try any more than necessary. Don't tip it up. That is the worst thing when you're making great progress and you tip it up. And you, the winch I've got you can't use when your engine's stored. And maybe you tip up your engine's stored and so you're buggered. You're completely buggered. Our fuel situation, I'm, I'm, I'm weary of it. I don't think we'll need it to get to the next watchtower. We've got to use our winch quite a lot on this road. I have to remember that. Okay, it's a little bit more solid here, which is good. And we're using 4x4 going all the way along. And look at the tracks that I went around the outside of this place. So I'm going to do that here as well. It's good to still the trail because now I can remember how I got here safely. Just do the same on the way back. It's much easier rather than placing waypoints, that's for sure. To be honest, you know what? I feel like it was just time like back to the Oh no it wasn't there's was a massive river, wasn't there? It's a fuel station now. I don't think we want to eat it. If they need a fuel, that's enough. Here's a bit more solid here. Cool. Alright, we're back to where this road started. Now we've got to go in the opposite direction and hope that's a bit better. So we can get to the next watchtower. How far away is it? We got on there. It's not too far, is it really? Maybe we need four-wheel drive at the moment. Didn't prove well about it. Right, 
Right, back onto the timer. I believe we just follow the road this way and it should take us straight to the watchtower. I'm just going to go in here because I don't think my maps is open here. Let's discover this. Shame you can't refill refuel here. I can see the watch in the distance, it's not too far. Not too far at all. Oh wait, I think that might be a tree actually. Oh <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna just put all wheel drive on here, we don't need to be held back by anything. Huh, that is just covered in snow all the way around here, isn't it? Not much to grapple onto, is there? Right, let's just slow it down. A lot of the time, the trick in this game is just to not push the pedal all the way down, because your, your slide just, your, your tires just slip completely. So it might just be a good idea to just hold it really lightly, and you'll actually find that you'll be getting around a bit faster. There's nothing to grapple onto going up here. I have a bad feeling that our fuel might be a cause of concern. Ah, no, I didn't want to break that. That was getting us a long while. Oh, okay, come on. That's it. Get a bit of speed going up here. That would help us out big time. Because we've lost all momentum. Okay, let's go slow again. That's the way to do it. The good thing about this snow is it's cleaned off my car since we went through that massive puddle and I almost drowned. Like, it was really dirty, it looks like the snow just cleaned it off, made it nice and white. My tyres were horrible but now they're just nice and crystal clear white. Oh, it's really too bad is it? So, did I see the water tower? No, I think I just saw a tree. Because I can't currently see it. Oh, it's up there. Oh damn it, so there's not really a road getting to it from here, is there? Is there like a right turn in that I can... I might have to go off road. I might have to take a detour. I think I'm going to head in this direction. If I just put a waypoint just so I know where I've got to sort of be heading. I'll go this way. Oh, it's over there? What? Oh, why is that way? I keep placing waypoints by accident. It's this way, isn't it? There's loads of trees to grapple through here. It shouldn't actually be too bad getting through. Just hopefully our car can fit through these gaps. Oh! What was that? Branch just threw us back. This is a car. I think it is. Oh, it's a little bit thick here. Goes on. Put in a little bit. Winches are coming in clutch. <clears throat> if I could just squeeze through this guy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. I thought it was going to tip straight up then. Tip straight over. It was like a massive drop or something. Now this feels like a path to me. It is, isn't it? Now, if I follow the path that way, or should I just go off road? I feel like it's a safer bet to just go this way, to be honest. At least I know it's a direct route. And I'm making it, so I don't see why I shouldn't. Well, we're about to see. There it is. I there are a lot of trees, aren't there? Right here, but can we get there? With all these trees in the way. I think we're good. We can go through over these, can't we? I think. Yeah. Go just through this little gap here. And we arrived! Not too bad. How long has that taken us? 
Not long whatsoever. So we're going to get this all sorted with the map. Four needs a few, not much is it? Now let's get a lot of this map discovered, see what's around. Here we go. Watch how I open that's enough one ticked off the list for Alaska. Right, what's around? Not much is there really? I hope we see some upgrades or something. So the last watchtower we need to get to appears to be that one just there and I'd imagine that's actually this road that leads to it but we have not got enough fuel we've not got enough fuel to go in that way have we well hang on a second no nah, it's not really enough fuel is it I was going to say we could tr probably try and get this road along here assuming it's not that rocky and then just zip along to the fuel station Right guys, I'm going to give that a go, I'm going to try and drive back to the fuel station and if not, we're going to have to go back to, we're going to have to recover the vehicle and then go straight back to, where is, where do we get recovered to? All the way over here, which is the opposite side of the map. So, I'm going to give it a go, but I cannot see us getting to the fuel station in time. Let's try. this way. Okay, well to start this road is pretty easy to get through it feels like. Oh 12 litres of fuel. Um, it's not looking promising guys I'm afraid. Look how much it's using up as well. Uh, you know what I should have done is before I recovered that truck I found, I should have just taken the fuel out of that first. It had some in there, didn't it? And that would have helped us, I think. No way we're making it if we're going to get stuck. Got to be quick about this. Going down into single digits. How close are we? <laughs> Not at all. We need to find a fuel tank. We're right around the corner. Let's just get through it. Whoa, 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 whoa! No! Stop! Damn it. That is not what I had in mind. You've got it's out of the question. Edge of the store, we flipped it, we fluffed it. We buggered it. We're gonna have to recover. Ah damn it. That's annoying. Where were we? I don't think that no, we weren't making it anyway, guys, to be honest. That was always gonna be a tough one. So that's the last watch how we've got to do. So like I said, I think in the next video we're going to be doing either a mod review of like different types of mods or maybe we're going to try and do a mission this time using the truck because we obviously got a new truck which should help us out. Um, make a bit of money because we've only got however much we've got. But yeah, we unlocked a really cool truck. We got what, two watchtowers done. Um, we flipped the truck. Um, and yeah, we had a good time. Um, so that's going to be it for this video. Uh, please let me know if you enjoyed it, if anyone's watching it. Um, I'm going to continue uploading series of different games like I am. Like this is the second SnowRunner video, actually the first one I've done two of. I've currently done a Rocket League one, a Minecraft one and a SnowRunner and this one. Oh and a Eurotruck one actually, forgot about that. And SnowRunner is the first one to make a double appearance so yeah. Anyway yeah, 
that's it for me and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. See you later.